What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back in the garage. We're going to the Jeep yet again. Uh, it's only been uh, a few days since I started recording the, uh, the last episode you guys saw. Um, so, give me time to move out the uh, fuel tank here I put in the front because the best place to put it right now for room. Um, I did remove the uh, other skid plate. Um, and now for the big reveal because I usually guys just need to see a difference. And... Look at that guys, so obviously old versus new, um, and when I told you guys that this was in super bad condition, I, the, the surface rust didn't really, uh, didn't really do its justice in showing you how bad of a, of a condition it's in, so, like I said, hole up here, um, all this is just flaking off and stuff, um, this whole middle section is completely rusted off, this was barely even holding on, so, yeah. Like, that wasn't holding anything on. Giant hole in the back. So, yeah, not looking good. This thing is brand new, shiny. I can't say fresh out of the factory because I don't know if it came from factory, but either way, it's literally identical to the old one. So, that will eventually be going in. Um, I did get a chance to clean out the uh, gas tank a little bit, just vacuum all the rust and stuff that was sticking to it. So, that's good. The point of today's video is we're going to get in there. We're going to start taking off a few parts um, that can come off without compromising the structural integrity, I guess you could say, of the Jeep. Um, the main priority is actually the exhaust. I want to pull off the entire exhaust system because a lot of that's rusted out and it honestly takes up a bunch of room. So if I take that out, it'll free up a lot of room for me to get in there, hit all the rust in the other areas, uh, and then we can just put it back in the end. Or maybe I'll just keep it straight pipe. We'll never know. So I'm going to call her here. We're gonna start to getting uh, some bolts off. So pretty much I think it's just bolts up here connecting to the catalytic converters and everything back here is just hanging on by uh, exhaust hangers. So uh, first things first, I'm actually gonna get my broom. We're gonna sweep up all that rust because I didn't do that yet and I don't feel like getting super itchy again. But as soon as I get that done, we're gonna crawl under there and we're gonna get it. So uh, I'm gonna go grab my broom and I'll be right back. Underneath here, uh, we got two connections we gotta do. There's one on that side and there's this one right here. So as you can tell, not super shiny. Um, but that's okay, we're gonna make it work. So, let me figure out what size these bolts are first. Oh, look at that, 13, all right. One side done. I'm gonna hop over the other side now. All right, y'all. So I have all these um, bolts out for the uh, catalytic converters. Is that one? There's one on the other side. Um, can't really go anywhere though because we got a bracket in place here. Um, I would take this off, but unfortunately there's not really anything there anymore. So uh, now I just got to go through, pull all these uh, things off the exhaust brackets. Um, there is a bolt back from my muffler that I can undo and hopefully pull that apart, pull the muffler off separate, and then I can just basically take this entire bar, slide it back, and then like down and under or something. I can figure out a way to get it. First things first. I can do all these. So let me undo these. I'll come back and I'll see what I can do before we pull it off. I took off the muffler and I have this fully out of the brackets now, finally. Um, so now we just gotta work it out a little bit. So uh, I guess I'll just try to slide it forward first. All right, this might take a little bit more thinking. Hold on, let me look around a little bit. Let me figure out what I'm gonna do. So I've uh, done some investigating. Um, so between this whole weird section up here uh, being blocked with this big muffler and with a weird curved piece down there, we're definitely not gonna be able to get this out in one piece. So two options. One, I can either cut it probably right there, pull this way through that way, and then slide this forward and pull that out. Because the muffler's not fitting through here if I pull it forward. And this 
piece isn't fitting through here if I try to pull it backwards. So, either gonna have to remove this and take it off, or even if I take that off, this still won't fit through. So, one thing after another, but two options. I can either somehow try to take this off. Um, I really don't know how I'm gonna do that, except blast it with a ton of PB blaster, or I can cut it. So, you gotta try one option first. So, I'm gonna see if I can hit this with some kind of PB blaster or whatnot. Uh, and then hopefully pry it apart or something. If not, worse comes to worse, I can just cut it off. So uh, that'll be it for tonight. I'm going to spray this down, go inside, do my thing. Um, and then tomorrow we'll be back at it. But unfortunately, we're at a standstill. So let me, hit, let me take care of this, hit it up, and then uh, we'll evaluate tomorrow. Yeah, not so, not so nice outside today. But luckily... We're gonna be in the garage, so no need to worry about that. It wasn't like this a few hours ago. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just a little bit wet. Well, guys, we're back. New day, new shirt, same pants, uh, because I don't have too many work pants, so. I had to make do with what we got. Let's go up in here. And it is not looking good for that clamp. Without too much more speculation, I'm just gonna, gonna have to rip it off there, so. Tools have been acquired. Now we gotta set up shop. I've got the uh, clamp here. I've got the bracket here. Uh, my plan is probably to cut it right here. Um, that way, I'm not pulling too much pipe through this little thing right here. It's first things first. Let's cut, and that will actually come out pretty easily, honestly. Um, just missing, just missing that one side. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Oh, there we go. That's actually easier. Hold on. There we go. All right. I might not have to take this whole crossbar off. I might just have to actually take. Oh no, mine's walled on there. Darn it. All right, so I am not to take this crossbar off. Okay. Well, you can see here, it's too tall to like turn up in there, or else it hits off there. Um, and it obviously can't, it's too tall back here to flip up and forward. So I'm gonna grab my tools, let's take this off. Let's be done. There we go. If you guys haven't been able to tell yet, I don't have an impact wrench. I can't remember if I said that in the last video, I probably did. But I don't have an impact wrench. So everything I've done so far has been completely by hand besides uh, the sawing that I just did. Everything else, pure muscle, baby. That's why they call it American muscle, because we don't use tools. And rotate this out. Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't even catch it on here, so just slipped it out to the top there, like I said I was going to. So I'm surprised it even came out like that because I don't know. I was half expecting it not to. There it is. So now we have down pipe, down pipe, nothing. It's a straight back. Um, I'm gonna work on getting this last bar out of here. Um, I just have this one bolt to take off right here. Exhaust is now off, including the muffler. Muffler is sitting in there right behind my, uh, right there. That little S looking thing. There's also a second one that's sitting on, so. Um, so sway bar is gonna come off. Lower control arm is gonna come off. Drag link, uh, track bar, and shot, um, whatever it's called in the front. Drag link, 
track bar, uh, steering stabilizer, that's what it's called. And then this is your, uh, that little one, and then whoo, the back one is the sway bar. That's the front sway bar. Oh, and then I also have these. Uh, Madre, uh, I'll get everything mixed up today. Either way, no matter what I remember the words are or not, basically all my suspension is next. I still got some stuff to take off. Small stuff is coming off next, and then we'll be able to sand everything down and get it done. So I'm gonna reorganize everything as I did those bad boys. I wanna put all the parts back here that I don't need. I'm gonna take care of everything. Also, this is my uh, rust pile that I have. This is just, keep in mind, this is just from uh, the, uh, that thing. So, yeah, whole pile. It's like three inches deep, probably four inches right here. It's just a whole pile of rust. So, that's how bad this underside is. But luckily, you're getting fixed by this guy. There's tons of stuff that I have coming in. Tons of stuff I have to inspect. Hopefully not too much more money I have to spend. But... It's all gonna turn out good in the end. I know it. I have a good feeling in my heart. So we're gonna we're gonna take it and roll. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, super quick, easy uh, disconnect basically compared to the gas tank. Uh, exhaust is actually pretty much nothing. So I'm really happy about that. That it went a lot easier. If you're looking forward to seeing some more Jeep content uh, coming out in the near future with everything that's going on on this thing. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm looking forward to it. Hit that like button. Let me know you like the video. Let me know you like some car stuff. And don't worry, there's going to be more stuff coming out soon anyways besides car stuff. Don't worry. So I'm going to wrap up in here. Take care of what I need to take care of. Finish up that stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.